Hello, now here we are in exercise two for lesson number 12. Here we've repeated the problem statement up here. Lisa has $34, John has $205, Jenny has negative $20. Write a program that assigns these dollar amounts to variables, then output the following to the screen exactly as written. Lisa has $34, comma, and John has $205, period. Next line, Jenny has negative money, comma, and she has negative $20. So we have to uh, assign variables and print it out to the screen effectively. So what we have down here uh, is the main method. So we have the main method here. Here's the opening curly brace. Here we're initializing the three different variables. I could name them anything I want, but it makes sense for me to name them according to their name. So here Lisa will be called Lisa with a lowercase l. John will be called John. Jenny will be called Jenny with a lowercase. You generally want to name your variables with lowercase, uh, with lowercase letters if possible. Uh, it's just good practice. So here I have a comment declaring our variables. Now we're going to assign the dollar amount. So we'll say Lisa has $34, which is given in the problem. John has 205. Jenny has negative 20. We just put the negative sign there. We terminate everything with semicolons. And now we have to output to the screen. So we have system.out.println, quote, Lisa has space in the quote. Then we put the, ver the value of Lisa. And then we start a new text uh, portion. We have to put a space because when this when this variable uh, when this variable is printed, if you don't put a space in here, then you're going to be putting the word dollars right next to the variable. So you want to put a space there. So Lisa has uh, 34 is what's going to end up here. Dollars, comma, and John has, and we close this off. Uh, the value of John dollar. So it's going to end up printing what this line is here. Lisa has $34 and John has $205. In this spot and in this spot, we basically have the variable name to put the proper dollar sign in there. Now we get a line uh, going down to the next line for free because this is with a line feed there. And so we have system.out.print line. Jenny has negative money, comma, and she has, we put a space there. Value of Jenny is negative 20. We put another space, dollar. So the only trick here is when you're do, putting variables and sentences, you need to put a space um, in your quotation to kind of pad it around the value of the variable. So after that console's cleared, we'll just go and run this guy. And here we have the output here. Lisa has $34, comma. John has $205, period. Jenny has negative money, comma. And she has negative $20. So this is a great example in assigning variables, declaring variables, and forcing the variables to show up sort of in sentence form when you can mix text with the print statement along with outputting the value of variables.